Hi everyone, it's Kaylee here from MicroSurvey, and today I have a very special guest, uh, Tim McCall. So Tim is a Starnet trainer for us, and he runs McCall Consulting down in central Queensland, Australia. Um, so Tim's company specializes in the training in various software, um, including MicroSurvey Starnet. They also specialize in integrating GNSS into inertial systems, and Tim is also a Hexagon Inertial Explorer trainer. Um, so, Tim, thank you so much for coming on our show today. That's fine. Thanks for <laughs> inviting me. So, before we really dive deep into our topic for today, um, do you mind just giving the audience a little bit of background um, about your history with Starnet and kind of how you became a Starnet person? Yeah, okay. Look, it, would, it was probably four or five years ago. I had a client uh, with a fairly complex adjustment of conventional leveling and GNSS um, data, and he needed it all integrated together. Um, and he had a Starnet license that was expired and said, oh, this might help. Uh, so I investigated it and then uh, found that, yes, I could do it very well. We upgraded his license and um, and the rest is history. After that, I asked some technical questions of Starnet and they said, we think you probably should be a trainer. So that's where it went. And the rest, as we say, is history. Uh, that's great, Tim. Uh, I know MicroSurvey is lucky to have you as a training resource to help all the Starnet users out there. So yeah, let's get into uh, what this video is all about today. Um, so today, Tim is going to take us through the ground scale coordinate output file uh, feature in Starnet. Um, it's kind of one of the project settings that you can set up, and he's going to kind of walk us through how to set that up and kind of some of the practical uses of it. So without further ado, take it away, Tim. Yeah, OK, look, um, this ground scale coordinate feature of Starnet is is really, really useful for uh, for project type options rather than the global option where you're trying to work at a state level. When you're trying to work at an actual local level, uh, it's really useful. So what I've done is I've brought up here um, and it's part of our Starnet training uh, package. Um, We've got here a uh, network, which I can zoom out there a little bit, a fairly complex network with uh, connections externally, but then inside, this is our actual little network here. So if it's like a feature of, we have um, a particular line that may need to be uh, controlled or may need to be set to a particular value, so if we said our client said 999 to 1000, this this one here needs to be set to um, to north. So if we go into the options, we can go to options and then project. And if we go along to the tab of other files, uh, ground, great ground scale coordinate file is there. If we click on that, we can put it in various formats but we'll just pick the default today. And in the settings, we can we can modify the scale factor setting. And in this case, what I wanna do is run it computed at station 1000, because that's what our client said to us. And then we can apply a rotation. And what we can do there, if we the client says, I want that to be north, we can actually enter that value in and then we can put a translation into it as well. So in this case, we can make 1000, uh, we can give it values of 5000 north and 1000 east. And then we have the facility here, if there, everything was recorded in uh, US feet or some other um, measurement units, we can convert it to meters or feet or whatever we like or we can leave it as it is. In this case, it was recorded in metres, we're gonna leave it in metres. And if we press OK there, and then OK again on the project, and then we rerun that. If we look over in our, our listing over here, our output listing, we've now created ground scale coordinates that are, that are, are clamped down 
to, you can see here we have station 1000 and it's 10,000 east and 5,000 north. And that's all scaled and rotated into our local system. So it's a really handy feature for localised things and um, is a really great feature in Starnet. It's one of the easiest packages to create a ground scale coordinate file and works particularly well. Oh, that's great, Tim. Thank you so much for the demonstration. Um, you know, I do these videos and uh, a lot of the time it's all theoretical and I don't get to use the program on a production level. Um, so I always enjoy um, getting the demonstration and uh, seeing the program in action. So I appreciate it. So would you like to expand any more on that uh, feature before we get going for today? Look, as we're uh, within that file, you, you've got the ground that becomes added to it, the ground scale coordinate uh, tab into the output. But as well as that, we have our normal coordinates, which in this case, we're just straight UTM coordinates as well in that listing. So the listing remains the same. And the, so you, you can still have your UTMs and the ground scale coordinate file becomes an extra tab. It's very useful that you get two for the price of one. Yeah, I can see the usefulness of that, how the original file wouldn't be tampered with. It's just creating um, an alternate version of it. That's correct. And the last tip, I guess, is once you've set all those project settings uh, in the settings there, then it's important to create that ground scale coordinate file to actually hit the adjust button. So you need to hit the lightning button to actually adjust and then it will form and, and come in. Well, that's great, Tim. Thanks again. Uh, you know, you did a great job of explaining that out in a very easy to understand way. Uh, it's clear to see why you're a good teacher. And uh, again, I appreciate your time so very much today. Thank you very much.